I am feeling very nauseous. My stomach does not feel well. Halfway here, I thought I was gonna pass out. I thought I had to pull the car over. <laughs> yeah, I am not feeling like this is what I should be doing right now. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be doing colon hydrotherapy, and it's exactly what you expect. Colon, hydrotherapy. Hydro is water, colon is the back part of me. What's going to be happening is that I'm going in to do this procedure. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I look at society and my patients, one of the main things that I see is that we do not poop as often and as healthy as we should be. You know, poop should have a certain consistency. It should have a certain color. It should have a, have a certain frequency, which is at least two to three times every single day. You know, everything else we've done, I've been really excited about doing. <laughs> this one, not so much. This one, I have a little bit of anxiety. Can't remember my wife's phone number though. <laughs> but I'm focused on the benefits, right? Just like, like anything in life, when you have things that are, that are very beneficial for you, can, there's also some, uh, some drawbacks to that. So I'm focused on the benefits. I know that, that gut health is, is huge. All right, so let's talk about, the question was, how many bowel movements per day or week do you have? Oh, I, did I miss that one? Yeah. <laughs> per day, uh, two to three. Semi-solid, so a little bit of ridges. They come out pretty easy. So I love that. I love two to three per day. Okay, my dear, we're gonna take you back to prepare. So follow me. This is what I've been looking for. She, said, she gave me the, the long tour. All right. You ready? I think I can feel comfortable in that room. I, I knew the concept of colon therapy. I knew what we wanted to do, but when it came to the actual procedure, what I had in my head of colon therapy and what actually happened was two totally different things. In my head, I had the, the picture of, of like a, a, an enema where you, you use it and then you go to the restroom. The procedure was drastically different. They insert something that puts water into your colon. And at the same time, I, what I learned was it's called the closed system, which means they actually suction the, the poop out as they're putting water in and vice versa. It's this flowing motion, which is very funny at this point. <laughs> flowing motion. There's a lot of flowing going on. <laughs> okay, so now we've got you in the correct position and we're only gonna keep you here during uh, the very beginning. And this is your kit that you get. Everyone gets an individualized disposable kit and it comes with a speculum and two hoses. And the tiny hose puts in the filtered water, so that goes in one opening in the machine. And then the other hose is designed to go into the other opening in the speculum and another one in the machine and to take the waste out. So it's a very tiny hose that puts in the filtered water. Everyone always asks how much water? Not very much at all. Uh, it just feels like it sometimes because the water is trying to push out the stool. So what's that? Which, what's going in? What's going in the speculum? Yeah, I need to see. You don't want to see. No. No. I will tell you this: that your rectal muscles expand even bigger than when you poop. So when you poop, if your poop is nice and thick, your rectal muscles will expand to accommodate almost any size, okay? Here we go. We're gonna really give a lot of lubrication and you're just gonna stay nice and relaxed. Loosey goosey. Good. Oh, that's really good. Okay, it's in. That's as far as that goes. Now we attach the other hose. It's hydrotherapy for a reason. It's therapy. It's therapeutic inflow of that water. So it's nothing but safe. And I've been doing it now for uh, almost 14 years. It's a pressurized machine and we are operating it. And we are making sure 
to get where it needs to go and we're taking our time if it needs to be slowed down and we're feeling things on the bowel you know on your colon I can see different areas that need more work than other areas the first session we're just trying to get through the sigmoid we're trying to get through the descending and deal with that constipation which is a very common place for constipation and now we're gonna put on the inflow so what's happening is that the water is on it's going in but it's coming right back out the other hose so this is kind of a prep kind of conditioning you kind of getting you ready in a moment we will be turning on the water going in one direction what if i feel like i have to poop just just hold you're everything. always going to feel like you have to poop it's always going to give you that sensation that you have to go so what i want you to do now is focus away from your bottom think about your belly Good water pressure, yay for the water pressure. The water is your friend, the pressure is your friend. Yay for me, not the water. And I keep giving you lots of breaks. So here mm. comes the water, right? You feel that pressure? Yeah, I feel okay. it in other places. That's a break. So that's it, it doesn't go any further, in. No, it's gonna go up in just a little bit. A little suctioning now. Oh, that feels like air. Now we're pulling, we're suctioning. Mm. I feel like an air conditioner in there. Down there. <laughs> mm. Okay, so now, that was very good. Yeah. Now we're going to turn you on your back side. So you're going to bring There's your... some with that in there? Yes, sir. Yeah. So your liver is going to dump all of its toxins where? It's going to end up in your bowel. And if you're not getting rid of that matter on a timely fashion, what's gonna happen? You're gonna reabsorb those toxins. So not only are you reabsorbing just the stool itself, but all the toxins that your liver is trying to filter out, it gets stuck right there too. So yes, when people come to me and tell me, this is the average uh, client, that they're pooping every other day. If you're eating once a day, pooping once a day will suffice for sure. If you're eating two real meals a day and you're not eliminating after each meal, that signal is off. And so colon therapy will definitely get you back on track, combined with some other lifestyle changes for sure. Hey, if you're here and you're watching this, you're either watching this for entertainment, which could be pretty entertaining watching me do some of the crazy things I do, or you, you really do want to learn more about your health and get this message out to more people. And, and that's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to, to comment share this and like this video so we can get this message to more families and more people who need it. How much water is in there? Mm. Do you think? Oh, do you know? Not even a quart. So I feel poop right here. And right now it's breaking down. So poop really has been a part of my entire life. You know, growing up, I was that child that was constantly sick, always on medication. Early on, I was put on a ton of antibiotics and they destroyed my gut. I was one of the skinniest kids you're ever gonna see and all through elementary school, I was in and out of the hospitals constantly and it was because I was, I was uh, dehydrated. I was having diarrhea or it was coming out the other way. So either one way or, or, or another, it was coming out. I was in the hospital so often that the nursing team there had a nickname for me and that was Mr. Diarrhea. So you tell me what, what should I expect after this? You're going to feel hydrated, you're going to feel lighter, um, you might have a little more bounce in your step, you'll be fine. Yeah, you might poop a little bit later and if it's loose, that's okay, because of the water. You know, it's not true diarrhea if you happen to have yeah. a little bit of loose stool. It's not true diarrhea. Oh man, I really got to go. You're going, sweetheart. Focus on my hand. Don't think about your bottom. Do not think about your bottom. Focus way up here. Good. Yep, there's a whole bunch here that wants to come out. So we're gonna do a little light suctioning. Your stool was easy to soften. It was very easy to soften, so it's in good shape. See how it's softer now? We get it to a softer state so it comes out easier. You're doing great. Just focus on my hand. As we end, we're going to turn you back to your left side in about 10 seconds. I'm going to remove the speculum and you'll take your towel to the bathroom and just take your time. OK, 
okay, my dear. You are free to move about the cabin. I don't know if I want to. I think the, the colon therapy, it definitely worked. Uh, I think for, for patients and people who are, who are having issues with their bowel movements, I think it is, it's a great option for them. For me, would I do it again? Uh, initially, coming out of the session, my initial thoughts were no, like this was, this was, this was something, something different for me. But now that, I, the, that, I, that I've had the procedure and I've thought about it and I saw how I felt after, you know, a few hours after, I think there might be a possibility, might be a possibility uh, of me doing this again in the future, especially, you know, when, when I do travel, I travel a lot and when I travel, my bowels do change. I don't go as frequently as I do when I'm at home. What I will say is that after the procedure, I went back to the office and I weighed myself and there was an eight pound difference. I literally lost eight pounds of poop. <laughs> <laughs> there was eight pounds. And, and the next morning when I woke up after that, uh, like my love handles, like they, they felt a little trimmer. I didn't feel bloated. Uh, so those are all positive things. And, and those are directly of, of an effect because of, of, of the gut health, right? When your gut's cleansed and clear, you will feel less bloating. You will see your body trim up. And um, yeah, that was, that was great. All right, so quickly before I go to work, I have my wife here and I have her sitting in the kitchen because I have a little gift for her. Of course, it's in the name of health, but come on over here. Hey, sweetie, how are you? A gift for you. Oh, this is so normal for you to bring me a gift. Always get a gift. Okay. What? I'm very nervous <laughs> about this. Read the, read the front. Read the front. Premium. <laughs> Put it inside. Premium enema kit. In the name of health. Stainless steel <laughs> bucket? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I for had to do it. For a relaxing colon hydration therapy experience, your body will love you for taking a poop in this bucket. <laughs> You're so sweet, babe. <laughs>